Okay, we're on our way to the airport. Uh, Molly is going to New York. I'm, I'm not going to New York. Where are you going? California. Oh, she's going to California. And then New York. I'm going to meet her in yeah. New York later in the week. So there is going to be a Corin's vlog trip to New York. So stay tuned for that. But when Molly needs a ride to the airport, I have to drop everything and take her. So I have five stars on her Uber rating. I better. Um, no, I wanted to take her. The traffic on the other side does not look good right now. But I wanted to take her because by the airport is a lot of good food spots. And there's a hot dog joint called Gene and Jude's in Chicago that is famous for its hot dogs. Um, what they do is they give you either a single or a double dog and they throw a whole bunch of fries on it. Like a ton, ton of fries. Um, and it's like home cooked fries. The hot dogs are just regular generic hot dogs. But their special like note, their little caveat, nice word, right? Yeah, you used it correctly, I'm surprised. Is um, they don't have ketchup. So that's a big thing in Chicago is that the hot dogs don't, it's not, it's not like a Chicago thing to put ketchup on your hot dogs. Where in New York, on the street corners, they're called dirty water dogs. You get ketchup, mustard, and sauerkraut if you like sauerkraut. Chicago, the dogs, you get yeah. mustard and like peppers. pickles and peppers. It's very weird, but it's like popular in Chicago. Have you been to Gene and Jude's? I've been to Gene and Jude's. Okay. Um, I've gotten the double dogs. I've gotten that two orders of that when I went one time. So I had four dogs <laughs> and a lot of French fries. And also, and as you can see right over here, that's my mama. Um, so my mom's in town, Nix is there, my mom's there, Molly's there. So I'm taking Molly to the airport, she's going to California, we just learned. Um, I'm gonna go to Jean and Jude's with my mom. I don't know if she'll have a hot dog, are you gonna have a hot dog? She might have a hot dog. So used to Nick's. Someone that won't be having a hot dog is Nix, because she eats organic, as you learned from her last organic versus non-organic video. And Corin obviously learned nothing from that video. I will be starting to eat healthy soon, but since I'm taking her to the airport, it is only right as my Uber driver duties to stop at Gene and Jude's because it is close in proximity. Um, so I will be showing you guys that. I'm probably gonna get two dogs, some french fries, and just mustard. Um, let me know, does, a, does ketchup go on a hot dog or not? Mom? No. My mom, from Brooklyn, says no ketchup on a hot dog. She says young kids do it, and a lot of young kids watch this channel. Um, so I'd be I'd be curious to hear what you think. Do you put ketchup on your hot dogs, or do you put pickles and sauerkraut? Uh, no, pickles and peppers like Chicago people do. Ketchup? I don't eat hot dogs. She doesn't eat hot dogs, so I'll eat her hot dog. Well, my that's very surprising. My mom is born and raised in Brooklyn, New York. Shout out to Brooklyn, and she does not put ketchup on her hot dogs. I do. I think. My, no, you my father doesn't. Okay, but corn puts ketchup on everything. He puts ketchup on mashed potatoes. But if you look at any pictures of hot dogs on like like commercials or billboards, there's usually ketchup, mustard, and that's was, it. Was there ketchup on our Halloween costume? No, I think there was just mustard. No, there was... No, because I will Nick's, insert a picture. Of Molly's gonna insert a picture. Of Halloween costume. I'm pretty sure that I, had a I was. I was. She was a hamburger. I was a hot dog, and Nick's I had just had a mustard up. slice on me, a mustard like strippet. Strippet. That word works. Put another definition in there. Is that a real word? Strippet. Look it up. Yep. It means it means squiggly line. Um, Nick's was a ketchup packet. Uh, so yeah. So maybe ketchup isn't known for hot dogs. But I'll show you Gene and Jude's, it's famous Chicago, so if you're ever in Chicago, go to Gene and Jude's, it's popular. Uh, I think it's cash only, so I'm hoping my mom has cash. Mom, do you have cash? Mom has cash. By the way, strip it is not a word, it's something from World of War. What? World of put the World. definition in there. There's no definition, it's not we're a word. We're gonna put the definition, because you were wrong last time, someone corrected you, no, and said I that I didn't put, use it as a verb or a noun. No, you were using it as a verb, and I posted the definition of a noun. But you were still wrong. Well, anyway, all right, that's all for now. I'll show you Gene and Jude's uh, cash only, ketchup on hot dogs. Molly will not be with us, so she won't be having to correct us. 
so don't worry about her yip yapping. Um, five stars, Uber. It's called Cooper, and we'll see you later. Bye. Gene and Jude's time. some of the fries first and then the hot dog. But it's cooked. Show the hot dog. You might get another one. I'm finishing up the hot dog. Only mustard. Okay, we're on our way home. Uh, we are Molly Liss. She is off to California, going back back to Cali. Mom's still here? Yes. And Nick's still here. Yep. So we just crushed some Gene and Jude's uh, ketchup -less hot dogs. It was still very good. Mom, what'd you think? It was tasty. She thought it was tasty. I think it's just a regular hot dog, but the fries are what make it. Um, but it was very good. I crushed the double dog. Mom had a single dog. I'm curious if you have yours with ketchup or not. Uh, New York Dirty Water Dogs, ketchup, mustard, uh, ketchup, mustard, sauerkraut. Chicago Dogs have peppers and pickles. But Gene and Jude's, it was really, really good. Um, but I'm going to start eating healthier. I promise, I promise, I promise. Thanks for watching. Peace.